Hello and welcome. You're watching Next IS English. Today's news is coming up from Kaimur Wildlife Sanctuary and it is again a very important news. Let us have a look at it what the news is and why it is relevant. So the first thing is that deer horns and heads have been recovered from Kaimur Wildlife Sanctuary. One has been held. A poacher was arrested in Kaimur district after a forest team seized deer heads, horns and nilgai meat during a raid on wildlife smugglers. As you all know that uh, wildlife uh, smuggling and uh, poaching is a non bailable offense and that has happened in the Kaimur wildlife century let us have a look at it but, but before that let's talk about why it is highly relevant for UPSC uh, examination and civil services examinations so it is highly relevant for GS paper 3 environment and ecology wildlife conservation biodiversity protection forest administration and for prelims also there are focus areas like wildlife protection act 1972 we are going to talk about this Indian forest act 1927 we are going to talk about this also in the video and protected areas of Bihar and the main linkages are also there like poaching and illegal wildlife trade enforcement challenges in border and forested regions role of forest department in conservation governance and for ethics and essay angle is also so there in this uh, whole uh, topic which is environmental responsibility and intergenerational equity so this becomes highly important for your UPSC examinations now moving forward let us talk about the news so the context of the news is that forest department conducted a targeted raid in Kaimur wildlife century in Bihar now the century is in Bihar now this seizure included now what did they find out you know they found out that there were heads and horns of Cheetal and Sambhar deers then they also found out that there were Nilgai blue bulls head and meat and again this becomes a very highly sensitive issue under the wildlife protection act it is uh, a punishable and non bailable offense uh, to uh, harm animals and the arrest was also conducted so one poacher ca was caught from Dumuruka village near the UP border and that's where a uh, poacher uh, the one who was the culprit was arrested and the operational strategy was forest officials posed as buyers so forest officials uh, they uh, posed as buyers for two days to identify the smugglers so forest officers ne apna bhes badal ke uh, do din tak smugglers ko identify karne ke liye buyers bane wo kiske uh, ye jo uh, deer heads hai horns hai cheetal ke sambar deer ke inke ok the authorities which were involved were divisional forest officer dfo range officer uh, adhaura police station so these were the authorities involved in the whole uh, procedure and the key concern was highlighted that organized wildlife poaching networks and interstate escape routes so there were organized wildlife poaching networks so it's not one particular person it's a whole network of how uh, they are organizing uh, wildlife poaching and it is again as I am I have already mentioned it I am going to mention it again that it is a non bailable offense and interstate escape routes and there are escape routes interstates escape routes how they uh, send these wildlife uh, horns heads and all these things uh, through there are complete routes so again that has also been a key concern which has been highlighted now let us talk about the Kaimur Wildlife Century and let's talk about the important facts. So the location is Kaimur district in Bihar, Kaimur hills of the Vindhya range. Then the area is 1342 square kilometers which is the largest wildlife century in Bihar and the natural uh, boundaries are Son river in north and Karnasa river in the south. So it has natural boundaries uh, from both sides. They are rivers, Son river from the north and Karnasa river from the south. Their ecological importance is that they are part of fragmented bands. Bandhavgad Palamau Tiger Landscape. So they are part of the fragmented Bandhavgad Palamau Tiger Landscape. The flora that are found here are tropical dry deciduous forests and dominant species are Baki, Mahua, Dhak and Bamboo. So these are the flora. Now let us talk about the fauna. Uh, the fauna which have been found here are Cheetal, Sambhar, uh, Chinkara, Black Buck, Nilgai, Leopard, Bear, python and crocodiles are also there they also live here and then cultural and archaeological significance let's talk about that so mundeshwari temple is there and then prehistoric rock painting at lakhania and salakhan uh, is also there so this is the cultural and archaeological significance so this is these are all the important facts about kemur wildlife century so 
I want you to, uh, if you want, you can take a screenshot so that all the facts are here in at one place. You can, uh, for practice also purpose, you can also do that. Okay. Now let us understand the legal provisions involved. So, what are the legal procedures? What are the sections for wildlife? Let us understand that. First thing is Wildlife Protection Act 1972 under Section 9, com which completely prohibits hunting of wildlife animals listed under the Act, including deer and nilgai. So not all the animals but all the animals which are listed under the wildlife protection act all these animals if they are hunted then that is a punishable offense and both deer and nilgai are under wildlife protection act then Section 26A and uh, Section 27, they declare and protect wildlife uh, sanctuary boundaries. So, they protect the sanctuary boundaries also and restrict the entry, residence or activities without official permission. So, people do not have official permission for uh, entry. Uh, and they cannot live there and activities without official permission so there can be no activities that is also a punishable offense and then section 29 to 32 they ban destruction removal or exploitation of wildlife and forest uh, produce inside the centuries any killings capturing or trade of animals is again punishable section 50 and section 51 are empower forest officers to search seize wildlife articles and arrest offenders without any sort of warrant so without any sort of warrant the uh, power has been given to the forest officers so that they can search seize wildlife articles and even arrest the offenders they prescribe penalties including imprisonment and fines for wildlife offenses so uh, this gives uh, power to the forest officers to prescribe penalties also including imprisonment and fine for wildlife offenses also moving forward let us talk more about it now, let us talk about the Indian Forest Act 1927. So, under section 33, it prohibits illegal activities such as hunting and removal of forest produce in protected forests. Under section 52, it allows seizure of wildlife articles, tools, weapons and vehicles used in forest offences. And under section 64, authorizes forest officers to arrest offenders without a warrant. Again, under section 64 of the Indian Forest Act 1927 also, uh, forest officers can arrest offenders without any warrant and there the overall legal significance is that wildlife crimes are treated as serious environmental offenses. These wildlife crimes are serious environmental offenses and poaching inside a sanctuary attracts stringent punishment and reflects zero tolerance policy towards wildlife crime and there is a zero tolerance policy towards wildlife crime especially if it is done inside a century it attracts very stringent punishment so this is all about uh, the news we have already talked about different things we have talked about articles and everything now let us talk about the mcq for revision so the mcq for revision is kaimur wildlife century is located in which of the following states a, Jharkhand, B, Madhya Pradesh, C, Bihar, D, Uttar Pradesh. Do let me know in the comment section below. And I have already explained the whole topic in great detail. And uh, you might have understood that it is very, uh, it is such a serious crime to, you know, harm animals, especially, first of all, we shouldn't harm animals at all. And especially the animals which are listed under the Wildlife Protection Act, especially those animals, it is a punishable offense. So, I would like to end the topic it's a wrap for today i would like to end the topic on this note that please save the animals uh, around you may it be dogs cats please do not harm them and that is it for today i will see you in another deep dive video until then bye bye take care